With traffic increasing each year, the skies offer an efficient and cost-effective way of traveling, especially in places like Dubai. Hence, Dubai has recently solidified plans to introduce flying taxis to the Emirate by 2026, with agreements signed on Sunday with Joby Aviation and Skyport's infrastructure. The Emirate will become the first location in the world with a commercial, citywide electric air taxi service, Skyport said. Dubai Roads and Transport Authority signed an agreement that provides US-based Joby Aviation with the exclusive right to operate air taxis in Dubai for six years. Joby Aviation has established a local operating group in Dubai to support the development of its operations and intends to recruit locally for most of its operational team. UK-based Skyports was granted exclusive rights to design, construct and operate a network of vertiports launch and landing areas for the air taxis. Skyport said detailed studies had been completed and architectural design had started for the first phase of development. While it has been agreed that operations will start by early 2026, Joby Aviation is targeting initial operations as early as 2025. The Joby Aviation S4 is a silent, battery-operated aircraft, which has a top speed of 321 kph and capacity for a pilot and four passengers. Ahmed Barozian, chief executive of the Public Transport Agency said, The idea is that in 2026, we will be launching our first service with six air taxis here in Dubai, he said. It is a new service, maybe the first in the world at the time. There is a lot to learn. We will gauge the demand and see what people are looking for. The initial network will include four vertiports at Dubai International Airport, Palm Jumeirah, Downtown Dubai, and Dubai Marina. The aircraft is in the process of being certified by the U.S. Aviation Oversight Body, the Federal Aviation Administration, which has the most stringent safety standards in the world. On Friday, the FAA approved Joby's propulsion certification plan, which means all structural, mechanical, and electrical system certification plans are now accepted by the aviation regulator. Once it is passed, the UAE is expected to grant a reciprocal certification. In Phase 1, flights will operate from four vertiports, Dubai International Airport, Palm Jumeirah, Downtown Dubai, and Dubai Marina. A journey from Dubai International to the Palm Jumeirah is expected to take only 10 minutes compared with 45 minutes by car. Ahmed Barozian said the sites were chosen because of their population density and tourist attractions. With the aircraft capable of a maximum flight distance of 161 km, intercity operations are a possibility in future. A pricing structure has yet to be agreed on for the flying taxis. Mr. Barozian previously told the media that a ride would eventually cost little more than the average Kareem. Joby Aviation will run the flights on a per-trip model. Speaking at the World Government Summit in Dubai, Joe Ben Bevert, chief executive and founder of Joby Aviation, said the speed of the aircraft would lead to an increase in revenue. Because you're flying at 200 miles an hour, that pilot and that aircraft are much more productive in terms of the number of passenger miles per hour that they deliver, Mr. Bevert said. So if you're moving 400 passengers at 200 miles an hour and you're flying 50% of the time, you're delivering 400 passenger miles per hour compared to a ground vehicle, which might be delivering 20 passenger miles per hour. So that aircraft is then 20 times as productive as the car on the ground in terms of the number of utility that is providing to the customers, and so that's one of the biggest drivers that reduces the cost.